How important is the RDX to Acura? Not only is it the brand's best-selling vehicle, but this 2019 redesign is being heralded as the beginning of a new era for Honda's luxury division. Remember the super-handling all-wheel drive system that was skipped in favor of a lighter, simpler setup for the 2013 redesign? Well, it's back. And the original's turbocharged engine? It's back too. The RDX has an interesting history. Born a turbocharged rebel, tranquilized in its adolescence, and now arriving with a learned and confident persona, Acura's latest reboot of their ever-popular luxury crossover is the RDX at its very best. Just like Honda, Acura is done with boring styling. The brand exudes excitement through its designs and powertrains and finally delivers on its advanced promise by incorporating more of today's technologies. Can you get a front drive RDX for under $40,000? Yes, but if you crave one with all wheel drive and the vast amount of goodies included in the technology and advanced packages, you'll end up with this attractive example. Also fitted with 19 inch black wheels, MSRP is 50,495. And with so much happening here, that price is not only justifiable, but it seems like a bargain. No longer a Honda CRV clone, the RDX has gone its own way, stretching its wheelbase by over two and a half inches and widening its body. Acura says its structure is lighter, more rigid, and more tightly sealed than before. And the driving experience corroborates these claims, where the RDX uses its instantly accessible 280 pound-feet of torque, the company's typically great steering feel, and the true-to-its-name super-handling all-wheel drive to deliver a wonderfully sporty attitude that is both fun and evolved. Now that being said, I've been debating all week whether the typically conservative Acura customer might find themselves a little out of their comfort zone here. The RDX certainly appeals to the driver like never before. But with the Advanced Package's new active damper system, the ride and handling can be tailored at the turn of a dial. I love how Acura integrated this feature, making it easy and engaging to switch modes, including comfort, sport, sport plus, and snow. Not only does the suspension tuning change, but the steering, throttle, and traction control parameters are all adjusted for whatever you prefer. Not to mention active sound control, which can give the RDX's 2-liter engine a much more rebellious voice. The new 10-speed automatic has a sport mode as well, activated by pressing this button. Though I appreciate the packaging efficiency of the shifter, it's certainly not the easiest to change directions when time is of the essence. With precise wheel control and all of Acura's other handling assist technologies, this RDX has the moves that will delight the enthusiast, yet at the same time not alienate the casual driver with well-damped impact motions and a quiet cabin. The RDX is so good now. It has finally hit its stride, perfectly blending style, comfort, and performance. And it's really sporty too, which is exactly where Acura is taking the brand. Now the new 10-speed automatic transmission has its occasional hiccups and does display some undesirable manual tendencies like rolling backwards in gear, but by and large, it is a fitting companion to this torquey engine. And fake or not, this turbo sounds really good from within here, with a convincing baritone voice. The seats and driving position are phenomenal, the steering is really quick, and the handling is totally legit. I would definitely be happy driving this every day. A couple of more driving notes. Even in its most relaxed setting, the steering requires attention in two hands, and the RDX's added width is palpable. From the driver's seat, it really seems to fill a lane. On that front, the huge heads-up display helps keep you focused on the road ahead, and the conveniently placed 360-degree camera button is a big positive. When it comes to this beautiful cabin redesign, Acura is very proud of two things. One, the ELS Studio audio system which consists of four ultra-thin ceiling-mounted speakers that really does sound incredible, matching or besting the sound of some much more expensive setups on the market. And two, this new touchpad to control the infotainment system. Now, 
I should preface this with the fact that I have had a professional walkthrough with an Acura executive. I have watched videos and I am on day six of my loan. But no matter how hard Acura tries to convince me that this is the answer, it just isn't. Now, is it better than the awful Lexus setup? Yes, but that's not saying much. And yet again, this just goes to prove that nothing beats the simplicity of a touchscreen. It's called the true touchpad because every spot on it is mapped exactly to the spot on the big screen, unlike the mouse-like movement from Lexus. It runs on an Android operating system that, ironically, doesn't play with Android Auto, only Apple CarPlay. It's a little slow to boot and react, it can be glitchy, and if after a week of use I still need to think about how I'm going to change radio stations, then something hasn't gone as planned. Though slow, Sirius XM 80s on 8. Playing channel 8, 80s on 8. Voice commands seem to work best. Now it's far from great, but it's also not a deal breaker. And one of the most amazing aspects is this 16 speaker audio system that is mesmerizingly good. I find myself driving around aimlessly just to continue listening. It's probably the best car audio system I've ever tested, with such power and finesse that you'll experience elements of your favorite music that you have never heard before. But hey, Acura, where is the wireless charge pad? Real metal, wood, and leather create the perfect luxury setting, while extensive rear seat legroom and greater cargo room accessed via a kick of the foot renders deeply carved underfloor bins and fold flat seat levers for high functionality. With 272 horsepower and 23 MPG on premium, Acura has given the RDX balance and an overall likability that's hard to beat. Owners are going to love this one. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.